guys, it's finally here. After a year of waiting, we have the Starlink Gen 2 satellite internet setup kit right there. For those of you that live in the country, this is a game changer. And if you guys are like us, you know, homesteaders, farmers, people who might be working from home right now, but you live in the country, it's really tough to find a good high speed internet provider. If we get the speeds, even half of the speeds that, are, that this thing are capable of, it's going to be a game changer for our business, for our home. And I think it probably will for you guys too, but we're gonna share that with y'all and we're gonna find out. So y'all stick around. You ready to unbox this thing, beautiful? Yes. All right, go ahead. Sorry about the rooster in the background, guys. We're a farm. <laughs> okay. It's the moment of truth. It's gonna be a box of bricks. That would, that would be terrible. All right, so what we got? This is just a little cover. All right, it's a nice touch. Okay, so we have the base. All right, so that's the base, guys. It's got some mounting holes if you want to screw this into a roof or something like that. Looks like it just snaps right in there. They did a really good job packaging to where nothing's going against each other. Yeah. This, that's bigger than I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I've never seen a Gen 1, but I've been told that the Gen 1 was a lot bigger than this, and it was also round. So this has got this rectangular shaped antenna. Yeah, it's nice. Okay, so we have the antenna. And the cable is 75 feet long. And look, it's already attached. This is the wireless router that comes to it, comes with it. Yep, and you know what that is on the top there? I do not know. Or on the front. That is the orbit of Earth and Mars. That's pretty cool. Really cool. Yeah, I thought it was pretty neat. Yeah, that's a neat touch. And that's it. It's literally just, it's all connected. You just put it together. All you really have to do for the physical setup is place the antenna on the base right there. And we'll show you guys that. And then it shows you where the wires are supposed to be connected. It comes connected, so there's no confusion there. And then you're going to finish setup on the Starlink app on your phone. So super easy. Cord stays out. There's, there's a little groove on the inside that slides right into that. There you go. That ain't going anywhere. That was tough. I know, so hard. <laughs> this thing is heavy. Heavier than I really thought it would be. It does, it's got a little bit of weight to it. I, I don't know how much it actually weighs, but 15, 20 pounds, maybe something like that. Two things that I wanna point out that I think is a little disappointing I have no idea why they decided to not put an ethernet port on the wireless router. They took that away. The Gen 1 had it, Gen 2 does not, but there's an adapter you can buy. It's pretty affordable. We've got one coming in the mail, so we'll be hardwiring this thing once that comes in. But for now, and for testing purposes, we're just gonna connect to the built-in Wi-Fi just to get some speed tests and try it out. There's a few different mounting options you can order online. We actually ordered two different ones to try out. They're not here yet, otherwise I'd show you guys, but one of them, is a pole mount where it will connect to the top of a pole. Could be a flagpole. I've seen some folks use a flagpole. I think that's a great idea. Uh, you can buy those temporary flagpole kits if you got an RV or for your yard, and you can put that sucker way up high in the air and hopefully get around any type of obstructions. And then you've got a wall mount that comes off the side of your house, and it's kind of an L shape, and you can use that as well. We bought both of those just in case one of the options we like better. You guys saw the physical setup, super simple, really easy. You basically just pop the antenna into the base and you're good to go and you're ready to take it outside. We're gonna use the Starlink app on our phone and it's got a little, I'll try to show it to you. It's got a little section where you can scan the sky and it'll tell you if it's an ideal location. I already did that out in our driveway. So we're just gonna put it out there just for testing purposes and get it all connected. So we'll show you guys that.
Steven's plugging it in now and it's supposed to do something really cool like move around and do a little startup thing. That's so cool. The wireless router is plugged in outside on the front porch. We're gonna show you guys what the setup process looks like. Open the app, start setup, plug it in. It's plugged in. Connect to Wi-Fi, we wanna open up Wi-Fi settings. And we're gonna turn Wi-Fi on. There's Starlink right there. All right, it's gonna ask us to create a network, enter a Wi-Fi name and a password. I'm not gonna show you guys the password. <laughs> Once you create the network and a password, it's going to want you to reconnect. So I'm going to find it again once it pops back up. There it is. Enter the password and hit connect. For now, it says connected to device, can't provide internet. We're going to go back to the Starlink app. It recognizes that it's connected. Now it's going to go through some testing. It tells you it's even offline. Oh, online. That oh, was quick. Yeah. Yeah, I've read online that it can take a few minutes for it to find the first satellite. So let's click on visibility and see what it says. It says Starlink is still collecting data on obstructions. This usually takes about 12 hours. So that's important information, guys. It usually takes about 12 hours for it to really get kind of keyed in on the location. Of course, we're not gonna leave it here. This is just for testing. The signal will get better the longer the antenna is in the same spot and gets to really lock in on the satellites. So we're gonna do our very first speed test. We're gonna use the uh, Ookla, or however the heck you pronounce it, speed test app. We really like this app. And we're gonna see what our first set of results are. For comparison purposes, I'm gonna show you guys the current speeds that we're getting here at the house without Starlink. This is gonna kinda be a before and after. Twenty five down, four point nine up. All right, it's been a couple minutes. We've only had it plugged in for maybe 20 minutes now, mm -hmm. something like that. We're gonna go ahead and run another speed test, just see if it's changed. Not bad guys, 128 down, almost seven up. So far the ping results we've been getting are between 30 and 60 milliseconds. This one is 46. Look at that download speed guys. We just went from 25 meg on a good day to an average of well over 125 meg. I would be more than happy even if we just got 100 on a consistent basis. Yeah. That's, that's incredible, I never thought I, I mean, see that's today. four times as much as we get on a good day. It's a tremendous <laughs> amount more than what we get on a good day. And I never thought I'd see the day. Mm -hmm. We thought we were gonna be stuck with slow internet forever. Time will tell if it's stable. That's something that we're really interested in. Obviously, if it goes down every now and then, we can live with that. We can back up on our phones, but 
we want to see over time what the trends are and we'll share that information with you guys as time goes on a lot of people kind of sleep on us country folk but we know technology and those of us who run farms and businesses we rely really heavily on internet connectivity and this is a game changer we have the starlink ethernet adapter and the starlink wall mount and the starlink pole mount coming in the mail and when we get those we'll figure out the best way to mount it and get it hardwired into our setup and then we'll do some follow-up video and we'll show you guys the speed test mm -hmm. and we'll show you which mounting option we think is the best yeah. last but not least guys we would greatly appreciate it if you'd follow our channel we do farm vlog videos we do how to's we try to video anything that we think is useful that may help you guys out and if you have any questions suggestions Put comments down below. We would be really happy to answer, interact with you guys. We love you guys. We love talking to you guys. We love helping. And until next time, we love you and God bless. Bye, guys.